Today's video will be about a new feature called Paint Stitch. My name is Ann Hine and I'm an educator with Janome. Let's get started. So Paint Stitch is new to our Artistic Digitizer software and you can use a picture, you can use a photograph, um, you can use a JPEG and you can turn that into a thread work of art. Let me show you a couple things that I've done. So this is a little fold over purse and I took four, three photographs of uh, flowers that I took on vacation. I tend to take a lot of these when I'm out on vacation. If I see a flower I'll get my camera up close and take a picture and my family always wonders what are you going to do with those? This is a perfect thing for that. So I put them together all in, all in one in the hoop and then I stitched them out on a piece of cotton fabric and then I applied it to a pleather purse that I was making um, so that it folds over on the top. I'll show you what it looks like when it folds over. So it's folded over on the top. It has a zipper on it. So here's a closer look. You can see the thread on there. It does make a very interesting art piece, um, which I really like the look of it. And you can do some very interesting things with it. I also did this fun one here. This is Goldie the Gopher. He's the mascot for the Minis University of Minnesota. And uh, go Gophers, right? So he's a picture that I did a screen clip of probably off of a maybe a web page or, or something that I had and I brought it in here and turned it into a paint stitch and it's really kind of cute it came out very nice you can see the little texture on it too I'm very impressed with how well it came out taking it from just a clip like that so let's go to the software and I can show you how this works so when you're in the software you'll want to go um, into your browse function or open to find where your photos are and I know mine are here right now in uh, browse under favorites. I really love to use browse so be sure to check out one of the videos that talks about saving files and folders. So when I go under my favorites um, I'll be able to find some of my photos that are in here and I want to start with the ones that are right on the page already. There's two right here that I'm going to play with. These were done by a friend of mine and she's a wonderful artist and does some beautiful beautiful drawings. So this is one of her drawings that I uh, took a screenshot of and when you click on your image it opens the artwork image window and from there you can work with your piece. So right now you're used to seeing open as backdrop all these other functions now there's a new one at the bottom called paint stitch so we're going to select paint stitch down here you can change the width and the height of your design if you'd like I always check too to see what it is in case I have a design sometimes when you clip them from somewhere else they end up really big and you might have something that's really too large for your hoop though and you don't want to use something like that um, so you want to bring it in a little bit so you can do that right down in here change your resolution but this looks great so I'm just gonna check OK here and it's doing its thing and there it is now I'm gonna um, change my hoop here because the SQ14 is too small so there we go and there's my design right there in the center I'm gonna select it and then my properties box over here will open up and I can make some changes to it. So when you go into your properties box you'll notice right here that um, under palette you can do use the drop down and choose the palette that you'd like to work with. Now mine defaults to Janome because that's the way I set it up and then I only have two other palettes that I like to work with and I've put those in there too. This information can be found under another video um, I believe it's called setting up your workspace so you'll have to check that one out. It renders your design into 15 colors. You can work with your density and of course your length. You can smooth your stitches a bit in here. Sometimes that makes a little change. And you can work on the blending. Now it's on normal. Pretty much most of mine I like on normal. But we can drop it to low just to see what it does. And I think it's a little washed out there. And if I go up to full Let's see what happens. It's not bad at full. I don't think that's too bad. But no, usually normal for me is where I like it. 
then you can work with your brightness and your contrast. So brightness, if we do that, let's bring that up 20%. There we go. Yeah, it sort of washes it out. I don't think it's a good idea. So I'm going to undo from up here. And then I'm going to work on my contrast. I think I want to bring the contrast up just a bit to really sharpen those colors a little bit more. And there, now that yellow is popping just a bit and it seems to be a little more vibrant on there. So that's using your contrast. So very simply, I just picked a a photo, brought it in here, chose paint stitch, and there it is. All I need to do is stitch this out. This is 94,000 stitches, so it'll stitch for a little while, but it really beautiful, beautiful results. So let's go do another one. So I'm going to go back to my browser, and I'm going to look in another um, photo uh, file here. So I have a couple things in here. Here's my flowers that I used before. You can see uh, the different flowers that I used in my little purse thing that I was doing. And I'm going to come down here and choose this goat. This is actually, um, this is a painting that my daughter did for me. So, um, and here's that Goldie picture that I had. So here we go. We're going to click on our, our goat picture here. And it opens the artwork image. I just need to open as paint stitch click there. I like the size of it. This is okay for me. Now one thing you can do before you bring your pictures in is you can crop them um, out off the parts that you don't want. So this one I might have gone in and cropped it a little bit shorter here to take some of the darkness off the bottom, but that's okay. I'm going to go with it today. There it goes. And there it is. It's quite big. I, and I think it's going to be bigger than my uh, other hoop that I'm choosing here. Oh, no, it fits in there. So there we go. So there's the um, the goat. And that came out really nice. The flowers look good. He looks cute. But you can see what I mean down here. I could have cropped this a little bit. And I still think it would have kept a nice picture with it. Again, once I select it, I can come over here and play with my brightness and my contrast. And I'm going to bring my contrast up a little bit and see what happens. There it is. That's a little bit sharper on those colors, which I really like. And I would go with that. I would send this to my machine or to a USB stick and take it to my machine. So easy as that, we can bring in our photos, our drawings, things like that very easy. Now I do have one that's actually a photo. I'm going to come back here to my browser and um, this one here of this dog is a is a photo. I'm trying to think if I see if I what else I have. Nope, that's it. Let's take this one. I'm going to bring this in. This is Gigi's dog, Gigi's little puppy. And we're going to say paint stitch there. He's adorable. And he's pretty tall. He's 11 by 8, almost 9. So I think we can fit him. We'll do okay here. He's going to be big though, but I'll show you how you can make him smaller. So when he comes in, there he is. I have the SQ14 hoop, um, which, you know, if I don't even want a hoop back there right now, I can go to view and I could turn the hoop off and there's no hoop back there. So that's one way to do it. So he looks pretty good. I like him. Again, I can play with my um, smoothing and see what happens. I think the smoothing is pretty nice. You Look at his curls. You even, even have his curls in there. And we can change our brightness or our contrast or both. I'm going to do the contrast and see what I can pick up there. Oh, it made that. Yeah, that's a little sharper. I do like that. That came out a little bit sharper. All right. And then if we work with the brightness, let's do brightness just a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't think it's too bad. But I do like it. I think I just like it without that. So very easily, I brought in my photo, turned it into a paint stitch, and now I can stitch this out with pretty good results. I really, it to me, it's a lot of fun to do these. Now, if this was too big, once you got here, of course, you can use your corners, select your piece and your corner, and slide it in and make it smaller. So now, um, He's much smaller. You can see the size at the bottom. He's 
5 by almost 6 and 3 quarters. I can put them back into my hoop. If I want to, I can center to hoop right here. And I am in the uh, SQ14, so that's why it's pink behind there, so we can change that. Maybe I want, let's see if we can fit into this one. There we go, my 5 by 7 hoop. So now he's in the 5 by 7 hoop. If I bring the hoop back so I can see it, there it is. There we go. And I have my little puppy. He's looking cute. I can't wait to stitch him out. So, when you have a chance, take a look at Paint Stitch. Bring in one of your photos or a drawing, something maybe one of your children did, and turn it into a thread work of art with Paint Stitch.